If you've ever found that managing materials in Blender can be a bit of a pain, you're not alone. Payload is a new Blender add-on that aims to make texturing and material management much easier. As you know, texturing in Blender can be pretty annoying sometimes, I mean compared to other 3D software, like Substance Painter for instance. But this add-on brings some missing quality of life features that you don't find in Blender, so basically it adds a suite of powerful material workflow tools. Things like one-click material assignments, custom material categories, easy try planner mapping switches, a favorite system, and smart cleanup utilities all in one place. So let's jump right in for more details. One of the add-on's most important tricks is how it lets you apply materials. So on the fly, you can assign any material to any selected object and it even works on individual faces if you are in the edit mode. You can also quickly duplicate an existing material or create a brand new one right from the add-ons panel. I mean, without digging through menus. And the interesting thing is that there is even a handy feature to select the objects that use a given material. So you can instantly highlight where a material is used across your scene and it might be used in different places. When it comes to organizing your materials, the add-on really shines, simply because it introduces a flexible category system that lets you group materials into unlimited custom categories, for better organization that is. You can quickly create a category, assign your material to it, and then sort or filter your inventory to find exactly what you need. For visual clarity, you can even tag categories with colors, and you can choose from six distinct color markers, so that materials in those categories show a little colored icon which I think is a nice touch for instant recognition. The add-on also adds a search bar that lets you find materials by name instantly. And by the way, it even keeps a history of your recent searches for convenience. And if you have a few go-to favorite materials, you can pin them on the top of the list so they are always right at your fingertips, no matter how you sort things. And speaking of sorting, Payload lets you sort material lists alphabetically or by most recently added making it easier to locate new imports or keep things orderly. The add-on also includes some seriously useful cleanup tools, in addition to removal tools, to keep your Blender project tidy. For example, it can remove all materials from the objects, which you have selected, and I guess this is great for quickly stripping out materials, if you need to start fresh on those models. It can also clean up your entire file by purging any materials that aren't being used by that object. You know, freeing your project from the clutter of unused data blocks. There's even a big red nuke button for the nuclear option. And this one will wipe all the materials, textures, and categories from your scene in one go. Don't worry though, it asks you to type nuke to confirm, so you won't trigger it by mistake. And the add-on essentially puts you in full control, I mean when it comes to material cleanup. As a bonus, Payload lets you set any material as a viewport override, for the whole scene. In other words, you can temporarily apply one material to everything in your view, which is great for checking the overall lighting or just doing a clay style preview with a single click. Another feature that makes the add-on stand out is its easy stripe planner mapping switch. So if you've ever wrestled with texture mapping in Blender, you know that setting up stripe planner projections normally involves a complicated node setup. But in Payload, you can flip any materials mapping from regular UV mapping to box, sphere, or cylindrical triplanar projection. And this means you can fix visible seams or map a texture evenly around an object without leaving the material manager. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.